Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. The Savera is bringing to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to the Savera Times. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. Welcome to a brand new episode of my favorite challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily Yoga is a very special challenge because not only do you not need any previous training or expertise to attempt these exercises, you also don't need any fancy equipment. And best of all, you can do it from the comfort of your house. All you need is a little bit of time, motivation and a yoga mat. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not gonna work. Let's get started with today's session. Today's session is primarily focused on glutes, which is your booty. So you're going to focus on a lot of uh, glute work and a posterior chain workout. But before that, we are going to warm up your whole body. So for that, we are going to start with your legs stretched out in the front and keep your hands behind your back for support and simply start with leg loosening exercises. Loosen your ankles. Let the blood start flowing. It's a very easy way. We're going to start slow and easy. From here, you're going to lift your knee up and simply tap it down. Make sure you don't hurt yourself when you do that. The taps should be soft. You can increase in speed, but the taps should remain soft. This helps to increase the blood flow in your legs. From here, let's start with rotation of the ankles. And in the opposite direction. And breathe in, arms up into the staff pose, chest out, back straight, breathe out, reach forward. If you're unable to touch your feet, you just bend your knees, grab hold of your toes and stretch your legs out one by one. And from here, hands back again, breathe in, pull your toes in, breathe out, push your toes down. and bend your legs and from here you're going to simply lift your hip up and bring your hip down And then change. Let's stretch your right leg straight out. Holding the left leg, lift it up and down. And change. Again, bend both your legs, lifting your hip up, holding the position 
and bringing alternate knee into the chest. And from here, bring your hip down, stretch your right leg straight, left leg bent, pull your toes in. Bring your other arm all the way up and parallel to the right arm. And from here, let's rotate, twisting your spine in both directions. Let's repeat the same on the other side. Pulling the toes in, stretching the back of your leg. Lifting your arm up, bringing it parallel to the other arm. And twisting. And on the left. And bringing both the feet together into a butterfly pose and fluttering it up and down, opening your groin, your hip joint. And from here, open your legs nice and wide. Keep them as wide open as possible. Left hand behind, the right goes over, touching the opposite toe. And on the other side. Both hands on the toes reaching forward back and forth and change bend your right leg in the front and your left leg in the back both legs are at 90 degrees lifting your right arm up and bending on the side From here, you're going to bend your front leg inwards, back leg straight until you come into the pigeon pose. Bring your forehead down. lift up and both hands on one side bringing your heel to touch the hip and from here let's repeat all these exercises on the other side starting with your 90 90 both legs in the 90-90 position, bend over on the side, bend
bending the top leg inwards, back leg straight, body weight in the middle. Forehead down. Both hands on the inside of your knee. Bring the heel to touch the hip. Down, shift your body weight in the middle. Both legs in the front, holding your thighs from behind the knees, breathe in, chest out, breathe out, curve, breathe in and out, in and out, in and out. Twist left and right. Russian crunches. And change. From here, cross both your legs. And let's twist on the left. and on the right. Let's get your left hand behind, the right goes over. Stretching your arms. And from here, Let's change. Repeat on the other side. Holding both your hands together, stretching them behind. Interlocking both your fingers and lifting your arms up without bending forward. Breathe out as you bend forward. And change. Cross arm stretch. Stretching your wrist. And shake, 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 shake. Let's do a few neck movements. Up and down. And tilt. And change. So guys, this was our general warm up for our whole body. We are now going to focus on glutes. So for that, you're going to go ahead and go on all fours. And from here, we are going to start with our very first exercise, which is donkey kicks. You're going to start with your left leg, keeping the leg bent and the sole of the foot facing up. Lift it up and down.
from here extend your leg straight bend and extend Hold the leg in one position, bend and extend, keeping the knee stable. Let's change. Repeat these three exercises on the right side. Starting with donkey kicks. Extend your leg straight parallel to the ground, tuck the knee in and extend. Holding the leg in position, keeping the knee stable, bend and extend. And change. Let's again start with your left leg. Extend the leg straight up, tap left and right. Next is donkey pulses. Lift your leg up, keeping it up, lift it as high as you can without bringing it too low. And leg down, lifting your knee on the side, fire hydrants. Let's repeat these three exercises on the right leg. Starting with taps, left and right. From here, Start with donkey pulses, lifting your leg up. And lifting your knee on the side, fire hydrants. And change. Let's stretch your arms and legs a little bit. Sit back on your heels. Stretching your spine. And step forward with your hands. Stretching your upper back. Thread the needle, stretching your shoulder, on the other side.
sit back on your heels and let's stretch your wrists because you've been balanced on your wrists a lot. Rotation of the wrist clockwise and counterclockwise. Shake your hands. And now we are going to repeat these six exercises that we did on the left and the right. Getting back on all fours, we will start with donkey kicks on the left. From here, extend your leg straight, bend and extend. Hold the leg in one position, bend and extend, keeping the knee stable. Let's change. Repeat these three exercises on the right side. Starting with donkey kicks. Extend your leg straight parallel to the ground. Tuck the knee in and extend. Holding the leg in position, keeping the knee stable, bend and extend. And change. Let's again start with your left leg. Extend the leg straight up, tap left and right. Next is donkey pulses. Lift your leg up, keeping it up, lift it as high as you can without bringing it too low. And leg down, lifting your knee on the side, fire hydrants. Let's repeat these three exercises on the right leg. Starting with taps, left and right. From here, Start with donkey pulses, lifting your leg up. And lifting your knee on the side, fire hydrants. And change. Let's stretch your arms and legs a little bit. Sit back on your heels. Stretching your spine.
and step forward with your hands stretching your upper back thread the needle stretching your shoulder on the other side sit back on your heels and let's stretch your wrists because you've been balanced on your wrists a lot Rotation of the wrist clockwise and counterclockwise. Shake your hands. Once again, stretch back. And from here, let's stretch your spine. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out. Curve your spine outwards. Curl your toes in and lift up your hip, pushing your heels to touch the ground. Downward facing dog. Bend alternate knee in, make sure your heel touches the ground. From here, bend forward into the full cobra extension and again sit back in the child pose arms back forehead on the ground completely relax your body Take deep breaths in and out. And slowly get up and change. So guys, this was our session for today. I'm hoping that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let's conclude the session by chanting the Mahamartanje Mantra. Go ahead and repeat the chant after me. Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukmeva Bandhana Mrityor Mokshi Mamrata Rubbing your hands together, placing them on your eyes, on your ears and your heart. So this effectively concludes our session for today. To stay updated with more such cutting edge fitness challenges, you can follow us on all social media. Do stay consistent to see consistent results. That is it for today. Stay tuned. Until next time.